on into this uh, uh, this virtual class. Uh, before we start, do you guys have any questions? Okay, so let's start with our uh, uh, virtual class right now. Uh, I made a few uh, questions, quizzes, uh, around eight questions, uh, just to uh, collect all the information from the chapter. Uh, it will help us uh, organize our thoughts. Uh, and Bismillah, let's start. So uh, please answer the questions. Uh, the, so the question one says the outcome of analysis of the analysis phase is which one of these answers? Please answer the question. So outcome means uh, the goal, or means what uh, what will uh, come out from uh, after the phase. If you finish with this phase, the analysis phase, what what will you have? Okay, so the analysis phase, after you finish the analysis phase, usually you will get something called uh, the requirements. Okay, the requirements will be the proposal for the design. Okay, it will propose uh, the uh, uh, analysis, what are the requirements. You analyze to get the requirement. So this is called a system proposal document. Okay, so this is the answer. After the system uh, proposal document, usually uh, after the design, you will have something called the system specific document, which is passed to the implementation part. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Next question says uh, In the SDLC, system development life cycle, what comes after the analysis phase? Okay. Okay, so the answer, uh, the question says here, uh, what comes after the analysis phase? Okay, uh, let's go with the phases. So the first phase is, uh, the first phase is planning. The second phase is analysis. After that will be uh, design then it will be implementation okay so the question says what comes after the analysis the answer is design so number two uh, someone raised their hands up who is it okay so the answer for this question is design phase any questions Okay, let's go to the other uh, question, third question. question says, what comes out of the planning phase? What is the outcome okay, of the planning phase?
So after the planning phase, uh, you will have a, a request to the uh, analysis, analysis to find the issue and to find the requirements of the project. Uh, this is called system request document. Okay. This is called system request document, which is number four. Next question. The primary objective of system analysis is to what? One of these answers. So what is the objective of a system analysis? What is the main objective of the system analysis? Please answer the question. So the primary objective, the main objective of a system analysis who analyze the systems is trying to find where, what, what is the best value for the business or for the organization. So it's trying to find the requirement of that system, okay? Trying to find the, the solution or the issues too, okay? So he creates value. He puts uh, extra uh, into uh, the organization. So the answer here is number one. Next question is, which is not a reason to be a system analysis? Remember, it's a not to be, OK? Okay, so a system analysis could be an interesting job, exciting job. It also could have the satisfaction of creating the system and finding the requirements. Uh, it is a very challenging job. It is uh, difficult, but it's, uh, it has its benefit of uh, giving you satisfaction. The one that is not really well, which is generally has which is number three, generally has little or no advancement option. This is not uh, correct because uh, a system analysis could be a project manager or it could be a CFO or could be a CEO because uh, he or she will have high knowledge of how to run a business and how or to uh, find the issues in the organization and given solutions. Okay? So the correct answer is this one because this is not a good reason okay next question which of the following project roles would uh, focus on business process and value who who tries to find the processes and value focus on, focus on it and improve it
Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a system analysis will look at the IT, the technology, and the business, both of them. So it will, he will look at both of them and how to uh, apply both of them together. Uh, a business analysis will look at the business, how the business is run, running, how it does work, how can it be improved, okay, in the actual business, training the staff and so on. Uh, infrastructure uh, analysis will look at the whole infrastructure, the technology infrastructure. Change management will create the change and uh, will create how to manage that change. Project manager will look at the project and manage the whole project as a whole. So the most person who looks at the processes and value will be the business analysis because he will improve the hierarchy, the processes, uh, what is needed and what's not needed. Okay, so the answer is number two. Next question. Nasser is doing interviewing with clients and developers. What would be the most likely uh, uh, software development life cycle phase for him? Which phase will be that phase? Okay, so interviewing clients and trying to find the requirement and how to solve it is the mostly is in the analysis phase. The building the solution is in the design, but looking at the whole picture is the analysis phase. Okay, trying to find the requirement, interviewing people, interviewing the management, interviewing the people. Uh, uh, Yes, okay. So the answer is analysis. Okay, question eight. Zoltan or Sultan is worried about the company using the new system. This considered consider be part of which kind of visibility? Where can you uh, study this issue? Okay, let's take this one by one. So, te technical visibility will study uh, the technology and how the technology will, be, uh, how the technology, uh, if there's availability of that technology and if it uh, could be done, if it's possible. Economic visibility will look at salary, will look at budgets, will look at cash flow and stuff. Risk visibility will look at the risks on the project. Okay, if the project will be failing, uh, if uh, there is risks after, for example, uh, water coming into hardware, uh, some any kind of risks, uh, losing money and so on. Vis uh, hardware visibility is looking at the hard, hard, uh, hardware capabilities, and if it's possible to get it, and if uh, if it's cheap or expensive or so on. Organizational visibility, which is the hardest part to study, is trying to find if you could integrate the technology to the organization. If the organization is ready, trained, and uh, have the knowledge of the system. If someone is worried about the system and they don't want to work with it, usually it will be on the organization visibility. So. The answer will be uh, organizational visibility. Okay, so this is eight questions, simple eight questions. Uh, we took them. Hopefully, it gave you a, a good idea of the chapter. Uh, do you guys have any questions?
Okay. So hopefully, uh, I'm I'm hoping that you read uh, the chapter uh, next uh, chapter two before next week, uh, just to revise it before you come in. And if you have any questions, uh, I know maybe some of you will not, but try, please try. Uh, I'll send the study plan inshallah uh, tomorrow, and uh, hopefully uh, everyone will know where is the assignment and. Uh, the exams and so on. Uh, if you have uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, email me or come to my office or make an appointment to come to my office and uh, or in the face-to-face -face, uh, class. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, and I hope uh, you will have a good uh, rest of the weekend, okay? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Recording stopped.